Sonic and welcome to how to reaction live stream and here we go that is that's about to start here we go just starting just starting yep press conference that is this press conference just now starting with a game there is no game without the players really it all comes down to you huh. all right you there is no game. There's no one to play it. No one to interact with it. You keep us in check. <laughs> and we appreciate that. The this is really through fresh conference. And through all of it, you're always there with us. <laughs> you are definitely not afraid to tell us how you feel. Your feedback sometimes challenges us, but it forces <laughs> us to be always challenging ourselves you empathize with us as developers and with each other as a community it's really beautiful i'm dinga bakaba and i used to take a week off every time a bethesda game came out <laughs> my name is mark diaz and when i was eight years old i used to sneak over to my buddy's house to play doom i'm rush lambert Daggerfall was one of the very first games that got me into the Elder Scrolls world. I'm Dana Christo, and I started out as a 16-year-old gamer who just wanted to bring joy to others through video games. And now I'm game director at Arkane Studios. Mm. Now I'm a game programmer at id Software. Now I get to be a part of building that world as the creative director on Elder Scrolls Online. Now I'm a UI programmer at Bethesda Game Studios, and it's everything I could have dreamed of. Mm. I, see Hello, I see you. I see you. Hello. Ah, because so we fun. are you. And together, uh, together, together, we are all, 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 the best, uh, oh, the best, uh, oh, wow, wow, loud, hold on, oh, the music, hang on, I got me right back again, Jeez, it's doom, doom, Yeah. That was Doom. I could see it from what I was doing over there. Eh, whoa, what the heck was that? Ah! These games right now. Well, the dawn is Music. Oh, funny. Play one shot. Ah! No. Ah! What the heck? Music. Look at all that. Oh man. How high? Oh, look at how high. Let's turn it down a little bit. Bethesda's senior global vice president of marketing, Pete Hines. Pete Hines. <laughs> oh man. Ha ha! No, no. I don't think I am. Sorry, I think I mispronounced his name. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? Doing Feel good? good. Yeah, doing good. Awesome. Thank yeah. you guys for being here. Thank everyone watching around the world to tuning in to watch our fifth annual E3 showcase. You're welcome. Thanks for showing. Sadly, I missed the Microsoft this is a one. Night dedicated to those who love games, who love the incredible entertainment that games provide. This oh. past year, you fought demons on Mars and Nazis in America. Mm -hmm. You were assassins in the Empire, adventurers in Tamriel, and survivors. A lot of us. Huh. And survivors in the wasteland. Yeah! Oh! And you've I don't get to play that game. Adventures on PC, console, VR, mobile, or wherever and however you choose to play. Mm. And that's the key. You Great. take the worlds that we create and you make them yours. Okay. You share your experiences with other players, <laughs> with friends, and with family. With our games, you've built large global communities that truly matter. 
This year, we want to give special recognition to the extraordinary Bethesda community. As you showed, as you saw in our opening video, you mean everything to us. Oh. I've almost been at this company for 20 years. That's and when true. I first started. Oh, nice. Of course. I want to say. Oh. <laughs> I was actually there. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's funny. I'm not just, when this I first is just started, a reaction. One of my first responsibilities was moderating the community forums, chatting with you and keeping mm. you up to date on our games. It was a great mm. way to start my career at Bethesda because it was the perfect reminder of why we do what we do. And like so many others at Bethesda, I've spent a lot of time with you at events around the Check world. My microphone. I've enjoyed Check meeting my microphone. so many of you and getting your thoughts and feedback. So tonight, we'll be taking time throughout the show to hear directly from some of you in the Bethesda community. Mm. We are thrilled tonight to show our fans the lineup of great games we've been creating just for you, including Woo. the premiere of some exciting new games, and we'll Ooh. go deep on Doom Eternal. What? Doom Eternal! Woo! <laughs> Golly, that's so, loud. Oh, is that like hearing aids? If you're ready, let's kick it off and take an update hearing aid. from our friends at one of the most celebrated Oopsies. development studios in the world, Bethesda Game Studios. Please okay. welcome Studio Head and my good friend, Todd Howard. Hello, Studio Head. Studio Head. Todd Howard, huh? All right. Ooh, the crowd's going wild. Oh, that's funny. How do I find it funny when the crowd goes wild? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Great Todd to Howard. see everybody. Yeah, yeah. We have yeah. had... An incredibly exciting year at Bethesda Game Studios. How about it? Given some of that excitement and pressure, right. still here. Oh! Wait, what? Still here? Like I didn't leave last E3? Actually, really? over the last year, we've had over 60 million players in our games, our most ever. Woo. And it's all of wow. you. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. <laughs> it was clapping. It's mm. all of you who have made these worlds what they are. Mm. Take Fallout 76. Oh. I still gotta play that game. I haven't been able to. Just haven't been able to get it. I'm not kidding. A type of game we'd never done before. Had a it's, lot of difficulties. It's a game launch. I want to actually and check out. I wanted to check out since lot last year. Well deserved criticism. Huh. Well deserved criticism. Yeah, I can imagine. But the team kept working on it, and you kept playing it. And through all of that, something amazing has happened. It's thanks to all of you. This game has one of the best online communities we've ever seen. Hmm. We made a post-apocalyptic survival game where you can do whatever you want, and everybody's nice to each other. Yeah. Really? They don't go on killing griefing sprees. They leave food and water for the newbies and wave to each other. I don't know about you. Why? This should give us all hope for humanity when the apocalypse does come. Ah, uh, okay. Great. <laughs> Why'd you want to do that? Why not? And so we have a lot more in store this year for Fallout 76. But first, our latest game, The Elder Scrolls Blades, is an early access. And thanks to all Ooh. of you, it became our second straight number one mobile game after huh. Fallout Shelter. Absolutely incredible. All right. What's <laughs> that one clapping? And to tell you what's coming to Blaze, huh. let me introduce why, why am I asking project leader question? Craig Lafferty and art director Matt Carafano. All right. The artists and the project director. Great. Nice. Uh, do I have to clap along with the audience? It's great to be here at E3. And thanks again to all of you for making Blades number one. As someone who's worked on the Elder Scrolls for 20 years, it's been incredible to bring this world to your phones in an all new way. We still love those classic I don't play on my phone. and it's clear you do as well. And whether you're exploring a dungeon or rebuilding your town, it's great to be able to do it wherever you are. Since it's mm -hmm. E3, we're releasing our biggest update yet featuring all new jobs and solo arena battles, oh. an all new custom all right. jewelry system, and oh. a brand new dragon quest line. That sounds nice. Yeah. I never played games on my phone. It has even more, but best of all, it's coming out tonight. Well, that's nice and pretty cool though. 
So, who and who has a phone and plays on the phone? Great. Tonight and give it a try. It well, I guess I can put on the app. On our arena mode like for iPad. this fall, that'll feature PvP, I don't know. your own guilds, and visiting your friends' towns. But most exciting this year, we're also bringing Blades to an all-new platform. Huh. Switchblades. Switchblades. Switchblades, huh? <gasps> oh, on Nintendo Switch. Ah! Good! No! Switch that thing! Ah, oh, it's not the Wii. Sorry. No, that's the Switch. Oh, there we go. So you can use motion controls with the Switch. Ah, oh, nice. I kind of like using motion controls in video games personally. I do. It's just fun. Fun to actually do it myself and push a button. I always liked that on the Wii. Or Wii U, where they're able to use motion controls. Ah, yeah, the crowd's going wild. Yes, Blaze is coming this fall for the Nintendo Switch. And yes, it's still free. All right. Wait, what? Oh. Blades is the perfect fit for the Switch. You can play on the go, on your TV, and with motion controls. All but right. best of all, it's cross-play and cross-progression with the mobile version. So you can... So you can start tonight on mobile, and all your progress will carry over. Mm. And it's playable here at E3 in our booth and Nintendo's. Yeah. Cool. Oh, well, yes. I saw something about Nintendo and Microsoft and for those of you playing doing on mobile, something there, but have some special rewards for both our I missed the press conference. This week. So download tonight and let us know what you think. Thanks Ooh. again. Yeah. Maybe I'll, get, I'll play on the iPad, but hey, who knows? Sounds now, nice. Let me introduce Jeff and Tom to tell you what's coming to Fallout 6. I just don't play mobile games. Fallout 76, I need to get that game and try to play it for once. Like, jeez. Still haven't played them yet. Man. I want to play the game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Project Leader. Or any Jeff other Parker, Fallout game for that matter. Tom Mustaine. On behalf Just haven't of been able to get around to them. Game Studios, we want to thank the millions of you who have played with us, stuck with us, and helped shape the world of Fallout 76. Huh. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Funny. It's incredible what the game has become. You've told us how much you've loved this year's updates so far, from camp building, legendary weapons, player vending, and of course, the dreaded Sheep Squatch. What? <laughs> oh, huh? We've also been working <laughs> on our oh, biggest same. update yet. It's called Wastelanders. Wastelanders. And it will fundamentally Ooh. change the game. Okay. Oh, snap. Welcome, Vault 76. Since Vault 76 opened its door. And we all discovered that Appalachia isn't quite what it used to be. We encountered a lot of things. Oh, snap. We overcame a lot of things. Ah! I don't think any of us expected for people to actually come back. Are huh. you from that vault? Can you help us? <laughs> Can you help us? We've traveled <laughs> far. The is or the way it looked. Folk rebuilding, fighting back. We'll fight too, right by <laughs> your side. Oh, all right now. <laughs> what the hell? We've been everywhere and seen everything. And the one thing we've learned oh. is this: you gotta claim the wasteland before it claims you. Oh snap! Yeah, I want to. I want that guy to get me. Are you with us? Ah! With them. Oh, man. Uh oh. Who wins NPCs return? New what? Wow. I gotta check that out. Definitely. Ah, yeah! Woo yeah! Ah, ha, ha. God, the crowd is so loud. That's right. That's right. Human yep. NPCs are coming to Fallout 76. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah. What the heck? Not just Jeez, that guy going crazy. But a full quest line, new That's rewards, funny. and as you saw, full dialogue trees. Yeah. Dialogue trees. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Year one was about, about the vault that. doors opening and all of you settling the wasteland. 
Year two <laughs> is about people coming back to reclaim it. Like previous Fallout games, these characters have their own stories and goals. It's up to you to choose how to interact with them and live with those consequences. The Wastelanders update is coming this fall and will be free for all Fallout 76 players. Woo! I need to get this key. I don't know why it's still not happening. And in the spirit of free, we're doing something special just for E3. Fallout 76 is going to have a free trial for everyone starting tomorrow. Ah. That's from the trial loop. That's right. It's, that's right. It's the perfect time to see what Fallout 76 and its growing community have become. We can't wait to welcome all of you. And because so many of you are going to be joining us, we thought we'd also give you a sneak peek this week at an all new game mode. Check it out. Huh? New game mode. What was that? What is that? Whoa, what was that? What did I just see? Your first test was making it to the vault. Well, now, I didn't see that. Real trial begins. Currently, there is no overseer of Vault 51. Perhaps you will be the one. Ah, okay. Nuclear winter. We oh. are in serious need of leadership. So I have devised a unique process of ah. elimination. A, a battle to the death is the only sure way to judge the superior candidate. Oh, uh great. -oh. Uh-oh. Should prove interesting. Woo. I guess so. So bad. Weird. Weird. Ah, not the nuke. I even got the nuke. Oh, jeez. Oh, snap. What the heck? Oh. Is this what I think it is? No way. There can only be one overseer. Really? Oh, my gosh. This, wow, they're in on it too. Of course, who else would want to get in on the battle royale thing? You know, right? So, man, they're in on Fuck it yeah, too. We put a battle royale in Fallout 76. That's right. Nuclear War is a battle royale born from the Fallout universe. From power armor to perk cards, from camp building to contending with wasteland creatures. And of course, my, my personal favorite. It is like a... It's oh. a great free addition to an already huge game. We love playing it, and we think you will too. <laughs> ah, all right. Cool. Great. So Just... check out the sneak peek and let us know what you think. Remember, all of Fallout 76, including Nuclear Winter, is free to try this week on all platforms. Woo! Crossplay! Is there crossplay? I don't know. So I'm not sure. Tomorrow. We can't I can't remember. To see you. Thanks again. Welcome. To, if I can get that my hands on that game, that is, honestly. Remember, yeah. Everything we've talked about that's coming this year is free. We get to represent what? hundreds of passionate developers across four studio locations in North America working on multiple projects. Yes, we're still hard at work on our next-gen RPG, Starfield, and of course, mm. Elder Scrolls VI. Uh -huh. So I have to try we and look into that. how precious these game worlds are to all of you, and they are to us. We know the time you spend in them is important. Mm. Keep telling us what you love, what you'd like to see us do better. Thank you again, everybody, for your support. But really, even more so, I want to thank everybody for believing in us. Thank you. Mm. Welcome. Huh. 
Woo! Who's the job, the audience? Tango Gameworks. The audience is always clapping. Gameworks, Tango Achiever. Oh, excuse me. Hello! Hello! Hey there! Hello! Hello! Ah, you fouls! You fouls like you to too! I'd like by greeting mm. my team in Tokyo! Huh? It's Monday morning there, but they are watching. Huh? Hello everyone! I'm going to do it again! Hmm? Hmm. Tonight, I am excited to announce the next game from Tango. What? Ghost Wire Tokyo. Oh? What's this? Hello. Ah, I'm not sure what that is. I have to find out. It What's is this? an action adventure game in which you will fight paranormal enemy and rid the city of a supernatural evil. I think you love it. Evil. What? Okay. Sounds new. I guess. To tell well, you more why about not? Ghostwire Tokyo, here is creative director at Tango, Ikumi Nakamura. All right. Ah, what the heck? Ha. <laughs> what the heck? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, so many people. Dang. Wow. Yep. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What the heck? Um, such a, such a that's big funny. edge makes me nervous. Oh? I'll do my best to speak in English. Oh. Hmm. All right. Doing good so far. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, we are making a new kind of action adventure game. It's spooky. What? <laughs> the survival horror game that we are known for. People are vanishing in Tokyo. You must find out why. You will encounter conspiracies and the occult. You have to, you have to explore the world. Face challenges to uncover the truth and save humanity. In the game, you will meet spirits, some dangerous, some Ooh. peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> and survivors that each have their stories. You will need to ask yourself, is this normal or paranormal? I ask myself this question oh. every time I go to the office. Yeah. What the heck? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. We are very excited. Let's take a look. Meet the net. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> that was funny. What the hell? Mm. All right. It's okay. Oh, That's funny. Ooh. What's going on here? What could this be? Oh snap. Uh, uh oh. Whoa! What's going on? What the heck? Why does everyone just disappear like that? Oh. What the heck, man? That's sad. Dude. That's kind of creepy. Holy crap, man. That's kind of creepy. What? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, hello! Ooh. That look, that guy looks terrifying. Oh, sushi? 
Whoa. Hello. Whoa! What the heck, man? Don't fear the unknown. Attack it. Attack the unknown. Don't fear it. Got it. I'll have to remember that. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> Attack it. Don't fear it. Don't fear the unknown. Attack it. <laughs> yeah, right. When I'm not playing Bethesda games, I work as a mechanical engineer. I work in a hospital. I used to work with kids. Uh, I'm an electrician. I'm an event planner. In real life, I'm a systems administrator. Program assistant for a private school for children with autism. I'm trying to be an artist. I like to think of myself as one. Make like back-end systems that it, it's, it's really boring. <laughs> well. Maybe permanently or temporarily, I'm a full-time streamer. I got, a, I got a YouTube channel. I make my own yarn. I'm a social worker teaching uh, inmates. That's I'm nice. a game developer working at a video game cafe. I've been a mm. Doom fan since the game came out. I remember being in the eighth grade and uh, a buddy of mine giving me the shareware demo on you know, three and a half inch floppy disks. My older brother picked up Fallout 3 and I took his copy and played it when he wasn't home. Fallout 4. Ugh. Gosh, that's like my baby. The scope <laughs> of that game was just like a lot bigger than things I was used to. Just setting foot in Shimmering, the first city huh. that you go to in Somerset, it was amazing. You would look out and you'd be like, oh, I want to go there. And then you could go there, which was wild. Go out into yeah. the world, go in any direction that you want to go. The exploration world. and the weirdness and the alienness of it. I played a yeah. movie. I, I tell you, it probably saved my life. It was one of huh. my first experiences with a fantasy world that was that huh. immersive. Love the dragons, scatter the dragons. You take uh -huh. down a dragon, you can definitely take down any illness. Don't ever stop adding dragons to your game. Add dragons to Fallout, add dragons to Rage, add dragons <laughs> to everything. What the heck, mecha, man? Mecha dragons. El more dragons. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay. Cool. Please welcome studio director at Zenimax Online Studios, Matt Fyroar. Whoa! Man, wow. that crowd is loud. Wow, loud you. crowd. The welcome. Hey, yeah. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Oh, Thank you. And... Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> well, the guy in the crowd. I just want to shout out to our friend Greg. Greg yeah. really Ooh. loves dragons. I'm happy to say. That was funny. Greg, the Elder Scrolls Online has dragons. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yay. It was funny. What the right heck? Now, in fact, players are deep into oh, the season geez. of the dragon. Our year-long story about greed, revenge, cat people, and of course, dragons. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, focus people on the community in the crowd. And everyone at Zenimax Online Studios, because ESO literally would not exist without you. Ooh. Watching you play the game, streaming, telling stories, hearing your feedback, we understand that you are the most important part of the world of Tamriel. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making ESO the extraordinary adventure it is today. The past year has been a huge hmm. success for ESO. More Game of the Year awards, millions more players have joined. Yeah! So many, in fact, what the recently, heck, man? so many, in fact, that we recently what added the heck? server capacity just to support all the new players in Tamriel. <laughs> Drop the audience. ESO, ESO just keeps getting bigger and better. Just a few days ago, we launched the Elder Scrolls Online Elsewhere. The latest chapter. Elsewhere? The latest chapter in the game where you're able to visit, for the first time, the homeland of the Khajiit, as well as Control the Dead as the new Necromancer class. And if, if you haven't played it yet, Elsewhere is the perfect starting point for new players. Uh. When we announced Season of the Dragon, we kicked it off by showing you a video about how dragons were unleashed on Elsewhere, and we ended with a cliffhanger. Now, I'm really excited to show you what happens next. Check out the world premiere. Hmm. Oh, world premiere. God, that guy in the audience is just... Yeah! Whoa! The guy in the audience. Whoa! 
Oh, turn that horse in. Oh, snap. Ooh, online studio. That thing is huge. Whoa. Oh. Ah! Don't fall away. Uh-oh. Oh, oh snare. Oh, ah. Uh. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, oh. oh pissed. pissed. I got pissed. Oh, it's a dragon. Woo. So there's a cat person. Ooh, that's brutal. Oh no! Get up, get up, hurry, get up! Oh man. Okay. A sorcerer? What the heck? Oh snap. Oh. Whoa, look out! Oh man. What the heck? What? What am I looking at right now? You have no idea. Oh snap. Oh no. Ow. Oh. Huh. Ah ha ha, get him. Look at him go. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Oh snap. Oh. Hey, what's this? What do you mean? It's Bethesda. I'm watching Bethesda. Well, it's a reaction. I'm just doing a live reaction stream, watching Bethesda. This game? Eh. I forgot what the name of this game was, to be honest. Can't quite remember what the name is, but I think it's brand new. Apparently, it seems like it. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I know. There's cat people in it. That's what they said. Cat, see, it's a cat person. And giant dragons. I think there are sorcerers or something in there. I think that's a... I think I saw a necromancer a while ago. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. I think that's what I saw. I thought there's a cat person here. I'm riding a dragon. Yeah. Oh, look out! Uh oh, trying to shoot him. Get in there! Look out! Oh, that's the wing! Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh no! Oh man, that's gonna hurt! Ouch! Sucks for him! Oh! Right in the heart! Stick in the heart, that's what that was like. Xbox party! Huh? Oh, looks like an Xbox party. Huh. Oh no! Yeah, she hit the floor. Hmm. This just got help. This is a death. This is the game. I, I think it's something Elder Scrolls. Oh, right. It's Elder Scrolls Elsewhere. That's what they say it's called. Let's show it again. This is just a trailer for it. Is that another one? To be continued. Oh man. Yeah, elsewhere. Elder Scrolls. Online, I think. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online elsewhere. Yeah. That's right, another yeah. cliffhanger. Oh, you may have recognized the return of Sai Sahan, yeah. the legendary Red Guard Swordmaster. Ooh. He's the legendary Red Guard Swordmaster you met as part of the original Five Companions. <laughs> He's back as the leader of the Dragon Guard, a group. <laughs> A, a group of dragon hunting warriors you see in other Elder Scrolls games. They'll be featured in our fourth quarter story DLC named Dragonhold. What? Which the audience is funny dragon. to me. We've got a lot more to share about oh. the return of Sai and the Dragon Guard, which will unveil it. Elder Scrolls on that Dragonhold. Dragonhold. Before then, keep an eye out for a dungeon DLC adventure called Scalebreaker, which you'll see in August. God, that guy in the audience. Hilarious. That's funny. Thank yeah. you so much for your support of the Elder Scrolls Online. We're humbled by your enthusiasm 
uh, your enthusiasm for the game motivates us every day. You guys are seriously awesome. Thank you. But I have something else to talk about. Oh? The Elder Scrolls Online isn't the only Another game one. in development at ZeniMax Online Studios. We have several other projects, yeah. one of which we're ready to review. I never really had one tonight. before, I think. I don't remember the last time I ever had one, to, to be honest. All about it is the game's creative director, I don't have Peter anything Swift. against them. Never had one before, to be honest. Don't remember the last time I had one. Crap, what, what did he say? I didn't hear it. Darn. Hi, everyone. Wasn't paying attention. Hello! And now, huh. for something completely different. Oh, what could that be? Imagine a classic Saturday morning cartoon in free-to-play mobile game form. Let's oh. take a look. What? What is this? What the heck is this? Huh. What the heck? What is this? What the heck is this? What the heck is this? I'm out of fire. What? Oh, it's just gone to a wall. Ah, no! What the hell is that? Ah! Aha! This is funny. Yeah! Oh, Commander Keen. Oh, that looks funny. Nice. I love cartoons. I love animation. Seriously. So there's a I always have since Looney Tunes. Family tree, and they're heading to iOS and Android. Huh. If you're hearing about Commander Keen for the first time, it was one of the that first funny. PC action games created by id Software in the early 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commander Keen. It starred huh. boy genius Billy Blaze, whose alter ego Commander Keen protected Earth. Ooh. All of us at ZeniMax Online Studios want to give a really big thanks to our friends at id for trusting us to deliver our modern take on this classic game. <laughs> oh, that was the... Uh, I see what you did there. That's what the Xbox so, party was. Tonight, as we introduce Commander Keen to a new generation of what players, the? Hey! we're also introducing the next generation. The commanders are of course funny and powerful, the but the game Billy is in the also goon. full of enemies, Yay. allies, <laughs> and some really bad, bad guys. The twins build wacky gadgets from Sean household Thanks to for the save follow, the dude. earth from certain alien destruction. Drag and drop gadgets to summon allies, attack enemies, and move through the environment. Mm. Choose from a this couple game. of contraptions to conquer challenges. And try saying that five times fast. The twins go on what? adventure what say? in story mode. Yeah, which thanks, tells some dude. Of the classic Commander Keen tales, as well as a whole bunch of brand new ones. In story mode, you'll overcome aliens, collect power-ups, and explore Mars and beyond. Huh. You can also go helmet to helmet with other players in battle mode. A real-time head-to-head race female. through an alien landscape where you need to control checkpoints and claim the flag to gain ultimate it's a billion. victory. What's the other person's Commander name? Keen will soft launch this summer on iOS and Android phones. I forgot what their names were. What were their names? Yeah, it is. My next year is so, soon as Twitch. Please go visit gokeen.com to pre register to receive Same unique name. game rewards. Outside 24. Commander Keen launch. I just restream. We really can't wait to kick some asteroid. <laughs> to all. Asteroid? Did it? Asteroid? What, what the heck? Was there a pun intended in there? That sounded funny to me. Yeah, I like using Restream. I stream on multiple platforms, so I just like doing Thank that. You, mm -hmm. Al Song 24. Like you love mobile games. That's my username. The upcoming Commander Keen, millions of you have enjoyed Fallout Shelter, which has now reached over 150 yeah. million downloads Whoa. and counting. Dang. 
For Ooh. fans of collectible card games, we brought the Elder Scrolls Legends to mobile so you could experience the Elder Scrolls in a new way. Ooh. This year, the Legends community Whoa, has continued to grow thanks to a lot of upgrades, Ooh. new features, and new content. It's a great experience for a night of gaming or a quick match over a cup of coffee. Ah. All right. Sounds nice. Oh, a card game. Another one. All right. Ah. What the heck? Everyone heard that? Oh, God. What the? No. Nah. Oops. Okay. Ah what was that? Hmm. What the heck? Why does this suddenly remind me of Game of Thrones? Oh, hello. Hey there. Hi oh, there, hold on, I'm trying to... Hit that B, did I say that right? Hi, right, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing good. Just watching the Death Business press conference here. This sounds like Game of Thrones for some reason. Or reminds me of it a little bit. You're doing great? How you doing? I'm doing good. What the heck was that? You're yeah. welcome. That's good to hear. What the heck just happened? You got a notification. Next to that follow. Holy crap, there's dragons. Ah! Oh, what was that? What is this game? What was that? I don't even know what this is. Oh! <laughs> Elder Scrolls Legends, right. I couldn't, I forgot what that was. See? Dragon. Thanks for the follow, dude. Yeah. If you enjoy the other thanks for the follow. For something that provides a little deeper challenge, you can download Legends for free on the App Store and begin playing tonight. Legends next expansion, Moons of Elsewhere, will be available mm. on June 27th for PC, Mac, mobile, and tablet. Mm. You can head over to BethesdaNet to get a glimpse of the new cards Bethesda and content, Net. or play it this week in our booth. I'll see you there. Clap. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. Clap what? Speaking oh, of so new clear. content, three weeks ago, we released Rage 2. And now Insanity Rules. Rage 2. Yep. Back in. And now insanity rules for millions of players around the world. But we wanted to do more than just deliver a critically acclaimed open world shooter. Huh. We've already added community challenges that reward you just for having fun in the wasteland. And we've got a lot more planned with new features rolling out this week. The world Ooh. of Rage 2 will become even more unpredictable and even more insane. Take a look. Those people look insane. Ha! <laughs> These are insane. The people are insane. Rage 2. Avail Avalanche Studio ID. All the rage! What's all the rage about? What? Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> bye bye! And they all just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! What the heck? Sad move! Got hit. <laughs> the music? What the heck? Go oh, motorcycle. Oh! I'm a total! Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Those expansions. That's my next tattoo. Hey. What the heck? That was weird. Meeny, meeny, miny, mech. Mech. Ha. Meeny, meeny, miny, mech. Oh, man. Ha. What? New suits. 
the vehicles. Do pay for nerds. I got what the tremendous f surprise for you all. Ah, what the heck? Oh, this is rage too. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Rule. Insanity rules. Insanity. Oh my god. That was hilarious. That entire trailer was hilarious. Wolfenstein. God, that was funny. Too funny. Hello everyone. After liberating America that music. from the Nazi scum in Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Huh? This year we take you back to Europe with two new Wolfenstein games. Hmm. First, we are bringing Nazi killing into virtual reality with mm. Cyber Pilot. With Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot. Ooh, As what's a this? hacker working for the French resistance, you okay. will take control of Nazi war machines and turn them against their creators. Cyber Pilot huh. will be available this July. And it's playable this week in our E3 booth. Hmm. If only I was there in person. Looks, is that like a VR game or something? And if you haven't fought Nazis in VR, you don't know what you are missing. It is. But, as is I said, it? we have two you just new said VR. Wolfenstein games. You said VR. This summer, we are going to be launching Wolfenstein Youngblood. Youngblood, another Wolfenstein game. What the heck, man? That's two games. A With Wolfenstein. a gameplay experience that is bigger than any previous Wolfenstein game. You will have more weapons and weapon upgrades than ever before, more ways to customize your playstyle, and, of course, even more evil Nazis to kill. <laughs> Brilliant. And in Youngblood, you can kill those Nazis with a friend. Come on. Great. Yeah. Yes, Wolfenstein is going co-op. Youngblood is set in the 1980s, two decades after the new Colossus. B.J. Blazkowicz is missing in Nazi-occupied Paris. And it's up to his twin daughters, Jess and Soph, to track him down. In Youngblood, you can still play by yourself, mm -hmm. or you can partner with a pal to double up on shooting, stabbing, and killing Nazis. <laughs> Tough. Yeah. What the heck? Check it out. Tough. Man. Paris. Nazi country. That's where Her. Papa is, so that's where we're going. We can find him together. I may have an assignment suitable for two Nazi killers such as yourselves. <laughs> oh, well, painful. What the heck? Oh, that's brutal. Ouch. Oh, come on. That's so brutal. Man. Let's do our glasses. Rise together. Play together. Fight together. This is like cyberpunk or something. Wow. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, block it out. <laughs> Sensor. Together. Oh, ah, there's so much blood. There's kids everywhere. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh. Ouch. Bye bye. Oh, see ya. Oh, oh. Headshot. Too close. <laughs> man, what the heck, man? 
July 26th. So, what the heck was that? Oh my gosh. That is just over the top. Wolfenstein Young Blood releases on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC on July 26th. That was so cool. All right. Uh, and nice. if you can't wait, stop by our E3 booth to play this week. Thank you. Sounds nice. But if only I was there. <laughs> and now, I'd like to welcome to the stage my dear friends from Arcane Lyon, who worked with us on these two Wolfenstein games, Dinga and Sebastian. Oh. Hello. We love you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi, I'm Dinga Bakaba, I'm game director My at Arcane Lyon. Bonsoir, I'm Sébastien Miton, art director in the same studio. <laughs> so, along with partnering with our good friends at Machine Games on Wolfenstein, we've been working on other projects at Arcane Lyon. And tonight, we're excited to announce our latest first-person action game. Mm. It's something innovative, stylish, and different from anything we've done before. Mm. Let me begin by saying bienvenue to the frozen island of mm. Black Reef. Mm. This is a place of mystery where looks can kill. Oh. The game takes place during what we say in French is a period de folie. A time of madness. Ooh. And now that we've given you a small taste of the world, Ooh. let us introduce you to our two deadly rivals, Colt and Juliana. Oh. Okay. Colt and Juliana. Actually, Leon. Music. This place isn't a paradise. It's a Black. prison. Black Reef. Out, ah. here, Out here, we're trapped. We're free. In this endless, eternal cycle. Oh, man. Dang. My Music. Life purpose is on this island. And I can't let this go on any longer. The more days I repeat, the longer that I'm out here, the more certain I am of what I have to do. The only way to protect the cycle, the only way to break the cycle, is, is to, to kill, kill you. you. Whoa, man. Oh. What the heck? Wow. This cool. Time is on my side. Jeff Luke. Time is on her side. Their side. Wow! <laughs> the audience is crazy. My God. <laughs> De Funny. Deathloop combines a mind-bending story with meticulously designed levels and, of course, arcane signature gameplay that lets you approach every situation <sighs> any way you like. Because in the endless clash between these two extraordinary assassins, how you play is up to you. Plus, I think it's really fucking cool! <laughs> what the heck? My god. Please. Excuse my French. 
Yeah. Maybe <laughs> maybe you should have said that in French actually. Maybe. Oh gosh. But but it's also pretty fucking true. Ah. Uh, because <laughs> because we, we will take you on a trip unlike any other. And we really hope that you enjoy the ride. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a wonderful way to get away from all the pressures in life. I think the sense of community has really helped me as a person because I'm typically very isolated. It's definitely very confidence building. It's brought me out of my shell and stopped being an introvert. I could like be a hero and do all these things. You find really creative, really fun, really talented people. Meet people who are in my group that I've only known as a character. Probably made more friends online than I have in real life. The games that you um, bring out just helps people, honestly. My parents were refugees mm. from the Vietnam War, which is why I'm also fascinated by elements of war. Playing these games just kind of put me out of the worry and the stress. I was in a dark place mm. for a while, and I told myself I wasn't going to be there anymore. Mm. And so now the only dark places that I'm allowed to go are in Dungeons and ESO. Huh. Just being someone who is LGBT, it's nice to be able to sit down and play these games mm. and feel accepted for who I am. It's really nice to see that their storyline has some sort of emotional effect on me as a player. And I just really admire the creativity that goes into the process of making these big worlds with these amazing stories. Mm. <laughs> Building these fantastic worlds and telling these stories comes from a passion to deliver the very best experiences for our players. Hi, I'm James Altman, director of publishing at Bethesda. Hello. Oh. <laughs> and I'm Robert Duffy, chief technology officer at id Software. Oh. <laughs> Tonight, we have some exciting new technology to sh show you that can dramatically improve gaming for millions. So for the past two decades, we've approached game development not by looking at what is possible today, but with a vision of what can be possible tomorrow. And at Bethesda, we're proud of our legacy of innovation, where again and again, we've changed the industry. We were the first to use physics-based engines for sports games. Hmm. We were groundbreakers with Go Anywhere, Do Anything, Open World RPGs. All right. We are the inventors of the first person shooter, uh, which is now the world's most popular form of gaming. Yeah. I don't understand that. We are pioneers in downloadable content and the first to bring mods to consoles. And actually, mm. since we first brought mods to consoles in 2016, right. there have been one billion mod downloads for Fallout and Skyrim. Huh. Wow, how about that? We, of course, developed the first commercially viable VR technology revealed in our E3 booth in 2012. Yes, that is the original VR headset held together by tape and worn by our very own Tim Willits. Huh? Wow! <laughs> What the heck? Wow. All and, right. of course, we are well known as developers of best-in-class engine technology with our id Tech engine. Oh. In I love in that. All right. Innovation and nice. creativity is in our DNA, <laughs> and all of these advances were done with one goal in mind: to improve player experiences. So tonight we have exciting new technology to announce. We're going to show you the result of years of research and development. Cutting-edge game engine-based technology we've developed specifically for game streaming. Now we'd like to introduce you to Orion. 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 Ooh. Orion is a tremendous breakthrough in streaming technology. Ooh. It's our name for a group of patented technologies that optimize game engines for performance in a cloud environment. Orion can work with any game engine and will improve player experiences no matter which game you're playing or whether you're streaming on Stadia, on xCloud, or another streaming platform. So, how does Orion work? The exciting game streaming services you've been hearing so much about have largely focused on hardware solutions to address the complex challenges of streaming. There's a lot of words. 
we sure used was. our expertise huh. in developing game engine software and took a different approach. By incorporating Orion technology at the game engine level, we were able to stream game content up to 20% faster per frame, leading to a dramatic reduction in latency. What? In addition, an Orion enabled this? game can stream with up to 40% lower bandwidth. And happily, for game developers, Orion technology is easy to integrate with your game build with our SDK. But what does that mean for you? It means that streaming games will be faster and better with Orion. And Orion substantially Ooh. reduces the cost of streaming for players and for publishers. So it won't matter oh. if your friends and family are sucking up all the bandwidth <laughs> or if you live far away from a data center. With Orion, oh. you'll still be able to stream your game at max settings. Wow. Wow. Damn, man. What the heck? Ooh. Now, as with any new computer technology, one, mass, one must ask the question, can it play Doom? Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Doom? Can it stream an unrelenting, fluid, first-person shooter with native 4K resolution at 60 frames per second? Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Damn. I'd like to introduce... Ah! I'd like to introduce Shale Williams, tech specialist from Mid Software. What's this thing? He's showing you just that here, live on stage. Look at that. Is streaming an Orion enabled Doom 2016 right now to that mobile device. As you can see, there is no reduction in visual fidelity. Huh. That's Doom at 60 frames per second without perceptible latency. And we want you all to experience this powerful streaming technology yourself as, as we test and refine it. So, for a chance to be among the first in the world to stream Doom 2016 for free, all you need to do is join the Doom Slayers Club by registering at slayersclub.com tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody could use a little more doom in their lives. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's funny. And we'll job. see you in hell. Ah, no, no, no. I don't know about that, but okay. Ah. Not okay. <laughs> oh, dang man, snap! What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. Huh? If you continue, you will bring down the heavens' wrath. Whoa. It is written. Snap! What the heck, man? It is their time to give penance. Uh, wow! You are but one man. Oh god. Yeah. Doom. What the heck? Wow! Ooh. They <laughs> are no longer your people to save. Oh damn, man. Oh, 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 okay, whoa, whoa, that was intense, holy crap, man, ah, oh, yeah, loot, what the heck, oh, snap, whoa, oh, 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 uh oh, oh, dang, oh, doom, doom slayer something, Doom, what is it? Eternal! Doom Eternal? Wow. It's called Doom Eternal. Oh, jeez. What? Doom Eternal. Alright! <laughs> wow. That was awesome. This is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Uh, <laughs> I'm Marty Stratton, the executive producer of Doom Eternal. And I'm... Thank you. All right. All right. And I'm Hugo Martin, the game's creative director. <laughs> the audience is... As you just, just saw, 
We're not just building a world for doom, it's in the entire universe. Earth is on the brink of annihilation. It's being consumed by demons. Well, if your crusade to save it will take you huh. across dimensions to oh. locations never seen before in doom from heaven and hell to the sentinel homeworld and beyond. Huh. Okay. There is so much to see and discover, but Doom huh. is first and foremost about gameplay. And Doom huh. Eternal promises to be the ultimate power fantasy. The fun comes from mastering the experience because you are the Doom Slayer, the strongest, fastest demon killer in existence. Huh. And nothing can stand in your way. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Of course, the challenge in Doom is all about handcrafted combat, but also engaging level design. And in Doom Eternal, the game always has something to new to throw at you, even deep into the campaign. Let's take a look. Mm. All right. Doom 12. Whoa. Dead. Mm, snap. Oh, oh. It's Doom. Doom Eternal. What the heck? Uh, what was that? Oh, look at this jumping dash. Ooh. What the heck? Ooh, definitely. What in the world? All right. Uh, interesting. Okay, ouch. Ooh. Ow. My car. Oh, there it goes. Man, this gameplay. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Man, it just keep popping in at you. Oh, ow. Wow. Thanks. You know, it's, it's so important to us at id software that every aspect of the gameplay has real meaning to you the player every enemy is different every weapon has a purpose and every decision you make really counts the only path to victory in doom eternal is to aggressively control the fight with amazing agility powerful guns and critical resources that's right i'll tell you we absolutely can't wait for you to play it and some of you won't have to wait too long if you are lucky enough to be in the room tonight, yeah. <laughs> you'll have a chance to play it immediately following the show. Hey, how about that? That's nice. <laughs> and for those not here, but at E3 this week, we'll have Doom Eternal playable in the Bethesda booth all week. Yeah. But enough talk. Let's see how it all comes together and watch as this perfect killing machine goes to work. Uh oh. Doom. Charting a flight path to Mars. My gosh. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Look at that. What was that? Some little drop top thing in here. Okay. Alright. So it's like first glimpse of gameplay. Yeah, doom. Take a look at weapons. Oh, man, my gosh. Ah! Ah, man. Ooh. We're blowing things up. Oh, my God. Crap, man. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, oh, snap. Blow up. Ooh. Fuck up. Oh. Man, 
this is crazy. Oh god, intense. Whoa. Oh. Ouch. Dang, man. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Ouch. No, oh, boy. Ooh. Damn. Ooh, snap. Oh. Ooh. Get him. Get out of that freaking chain gun. It's like a plasma chain gun. God, there's so many enemies. God, man, man. It's just deaths are brutal in this game. Oh, God. What? Well, ouch. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, oh. 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 Brutal deaths in this game. Oh my god, who's throwing a fireball? Get down! Woo! It's jumped over teleporter. Not teleporter. Oh, jump. Goodbye. He's good. Goodbye. Ha! <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, snap. Ooh. Get him. What is that thing? These monsters in this game. Oh, snap. Ooh. Oh, -ho! why? It's the way to destroy enemies in this game. Oh, this is the first gameplay footage of this? Man, get it, oh. Ouch. Oh, jeez. Wow. Huh? Oh, crap. What the heck? Oh, these enemies. Oh, ha, ha, wow. Oh, he blew up. Huh? God, the deaths are so brutal in this game. Oh, man. Yeah, that's brutal. A brutal game. Is that specifically what the rain is be? Oh god, this guy's a monster. Oh man. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> Alright. That was classic. Uh, yeah, that, that was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We're so excited because the gameplay that you just saw is just a piece of what you're going to play this week at E3. Yeah. But I bet a lot of you are wondering, when do we get to play Doom Eternal at our home? Well, you don't have to wait too much longer. Not quite tomorrow. <laughs> no. Funny. But Doom Eternal will release on November 22nd. We're very excited about that, and we've got something really special for Doom fans. Oh, man. An amazing collector's edition we're really proud of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, a, that's an wow. actual helmet. Look at that. Yeah, we, you, you, could wear, you could wear that thing. <laughs> really? What the? Uh, someone's wearing an audience. Look at that. Hey. Wow, really? This guy, this guy's already My got it. gosh. That's right. Already a badass. He's, he's already got one on. <laughs> All right, well, we've got one more thing we know that you've been waiting to hear about. Our totally new Doom multiplayer experience. We call it Battle Mode. My gosh. We've been developing this in-house uh. did, and it's unlike anything you've played before. Yeah, we've been so pumped at id to share this with you. This is pure mm. doom, but with your friends, where two player-controlled demons take on ah. one fully loaded slayer in a fight to the death. Oh, man. This is a first-person fighter 
where it's demon strategy Damn. versus slayer skill. Okay. No, we can't wait because we know you'll love huh. the different play styles of the various demons. I don't because know. each has unique movement, attacks, and abilities. Ooh. They can even spawn AI demons to control the battlefield and help you take down the slayer. It's strategic, competitive, and it's a ton of fun. And we can't wait to share more details with you this year at wow. QuakeCon. Wow. That's right. right. A lot more to share at QuakeCon. But before we Quake go, Con. we do want to take a first look nice. at Doom Eternal's new multiplayer. On behalf Ooh. of our amazing team at ID in Dallas and Frankfurt, Germany, we want to thank you all so much for your support. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Oh. Ooh, all right. Great. Nice. Uh oh, oh, here we go. Army presents multiplayer. A new multiplayer experience. Fight. Slayer first. Oh, ha, ha. Really? My God. What the heck, man? What? What? My God. What? No. Slayer kill. Round two. No. Okay. Wow, then. Dude, this is some gameplay. Oh. Yep. Ouch. My god. Wow. Dude. Oh. The final round. How to fight? Yeah. Why so brutal? Battle mode. Hmm. Wow. What was the? Another round of applause, please, for Marty Hugo and all of our presenters tonight. Yeah. <laughs> And for oh everyone God. at our studios around the globe that have worked so hard in the great games you've seen tonight, we say thank you. Mm. 2019 marks 25 years of Doom. So to celebrate, we will be going all out with Doom at QuakeCon this summer. We're adding a whole host of panels nice. and activities dedicated to Doom, which we call DoomCon. DoomCon? Hello. Yeah, see what we did there? We took out the Quake and put Doom. Oh. We hope you can come hang out with us in Dallas at our inaugural event in London. If you can't, please tune in online. Until then, go to Bethesda.net for more info on all the games you saw tonight. If you're here at E3 this week, we'll have hands on with many of our games, so be sure to stop by our booth. In the meantime, thanks for playing, thanks for watching, and thanks to all of you for being part of the Bethesda community. You're welcome. Man, that was great. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> the press conference. At Bethesda, we're in the business of creating heroes. But the true uh. hero is you. <laughs> hmm. What? It's like we hand you this malleable clay and you do these extraordinary things that we never could have imagined. Huh. We get to build these worlds and these communities and you all come in and you play and you bring these worlds that we create to life. You help us build richer worlds. Uh. We add meaning to everything we do. We are glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. To the heroes. To the heroes. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't have a drink. To you. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> what a press conference. Oh man! Yeah. I love that, it's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, funny. I'm not! I'm not! Oh my god. Oh my god. I loved that first conference. Wow, that was that was. You're welcome for watching. Check out uh, get recaps.
Wow. Yeah, I realize I should have put the stream as 18 plus because it's rated them titles in there. That was Bethesda's press conference. Now, as I was saying a while ago, just as this was starting, I missed the. I missed the Microsoft press conference because I had a power outage. A power outage. Power outage lasts from like around. It started at like around 1:15. And the power came back on until like seven o'clock. So I missed. Yeah, since I have Central Standard Time, my time zone is Central Standard Time. So yeah, I'm gonna see if uh, what's this called? I'm gonna check if Devolver's on next. Devolver should be on next. <laughs> 